Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. My name is Helen and girl, I love and like all things that smell good and make you feel good. All right, so today, what am I doing, girl? I'm cleaning up. It's Saturday morning, is what I do. Um, I'm big on making my bed every day. I'm big, huge on keeping my room clean, especially on a Saturday. I like to run the um, Jeffries, what we call them, the Robo back, and then mop, but I would say twice a month, I like to go through and dust all things, like the baseboards, my headboard, all my, you know, around the pictures, and like my mirrors, dust everything, and then clean everything really good. But today, girl, I decided to go ahead and clean out the inside of these cabinets. And when I do that, girl, they get excited because they already know I'm about to get rid of something. <laughs> but um, originally, I was going to go to the cosmetic company store so I can film and show y'all what they had, plus this other store, which I might still do that today. It's just this, I'm kind of behind now. And once it passed like noon, I'm like, mm, I don't want to go out there with all those people. So I might end up going tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. But um, it's just been storming. And every time I say I'm going to go, it rains. And I do not drive on the freeway in storms. Okay. Um, yeah, I had a horrible accident. So she don't get in the freeway, on the freeway in storms. All right. Um, I did go through and um, just tidy up my room a little bit. I need to switch my bedroom around from fall winter to like the spring summer look so that'll be soon um i don't know if i'm gonna do that on this channel or the other channel but probably both we'll do a little something on both but i need to go and uh, maybe i do a haul on this channel because i did purchase some things that need to go in my bedroom not a lot but i'm so ready to lighten it up plus get my covers i'm hot at night <laughs> it's been like 87 88 89 degrees then today we woke up and it was like 40 something 50 like oh my god this is texas but anyway today i am cleaning out my fragrance cabinets i already went to the other one and cleaned it out i filmed a little bit of it because i'll probably use it uh the film for like some tiktok some shorts or something but i just went through and took everything out shelf by shelf and just wiped down the shelves I did go through and see, like, is there anything over here that I want to complete a collection for? Like, sometimes I'll buy a, a fragrance and I'll enjoy it. And I'm like, you know what? I want to go ahead and get the intense or whatever, right? Or if it's a flanker out. And then sometimes I'll just go in, um, like, eBay or one of those places and get, like, a um, sample or a travel spray. I do that a lot. Girl, you should see how many is down here. I do that a lot, y'all. Uh, just to see if I even want to uh, buy the fragrance. Or I go on Twisted Lily and order some samples. And um, which I'll probably do today on Twisted Lily. But anyway, you know, because there's some stuff I saw in there. I was like, oh my goodness. But I just don't want to spend all that money on the fragrance if I'm not sure. So I like to get samples, right? Um, I did go through and just I always keep my fragrance in designer or brand category. I like to have everything. <laughs> together as company wise I, I don't know why it just it is what it is normally it's the shape of the bottle they all normally the same shape so i'd rather keep the shapes together or even if it's just the same company stuff like george armani has different bottles of different lines of fragrances but yet it's still george armani right so i like to keep everything like together and then um i know someone's gonna say but you you know wouldn't you rather keep it by season? Well, not really because I go through my cabinets normally on Sunday and I'll kind of see like, okay, what we pulling out for the week? And that's why that tray is important to me because I keep telling y'all my cabinets are dark. You can't really see in here. I have the lights off just so you know because I like my room to stay cool. <laughs> and it's, it's, it's hot in here when the lights on. Um, I like to pull them out either for the month or for the week. And that's why that tray is so important to me so I can see what I have and use what I have. And I just go through company by company kind of shelf and scan through like, mm, mm. So I don't really keep everything by like spring, summer or like type of note because I don't think I have that many fragrances anyway to do that. So I just keep it by house for right now. I do plan on purchasing a few fragrances and um, this helps me to see and decide what I want to purchase. And there's three things on my list. It was actually some things in my basket on Fragrance Net. And I kept saying, girl. But now I'm like, okay, I can go ahead and get it. Because I feel like I've used enough of like of something else where I don't feel so guilty buying fragrances. Yeah. Anyway, so I'm already on this cabinet. And um, like I said, Saturday morning, girl, I've been cleaning all morning. 
Um, I just need to finish up this. My bathroom, put some fragrances out for um, May. Girl, it's going to be May. I got two birthdays in May. Both of my sons are in May. Woo! So I probably shouldn't even be buying fragrances, but I am. And I'm probably going to buy them something too. But anyway, that's fragrance-wise. So let's go ahead and clean out this cabinet together if you don't mind. This is just more of like the cheapy cabinet. Um, Middle Eastern like cabinet, dossier type things. I'm going to go through these and get rid of some of these as well. Um, I went through the girls' fragrances with them the day before yesterday. And I was like, oh, y'all get low because they spray. And then they take the bottles with them to school. And they spray after um, like ROTC, gym or whatever. So they spray, y'all. And I'm like, let me give them some of what I already have instead of going to buy stuff. And by the way, I did see the dossier fragrances in walmart and i was like mm, that's why they like we tired of y'all influencers we going through walmart <laughs> they ain't trying to give us no discount with walmart they give no discount so I, I figured i was like okay whatever so anyway let's just go through here and get rid of a few of these like uh maybe some friends and then my daughters and then um i really want this cabinet to be like half empty so when i start getting fragrances i can kind of toss them in here and go from there i hope y'all okay with this lighting because the light is off I should turn the light on, huh? So, I'm not going to go through every fragrance I have, but I am going to clean off these shelves and move some stuff around. I've already started with this lower shelf and cleaning it off. And basically, I just have like a bunch of these like travel sprays. I used to travel with these and I stopped because although they're cute and aesthetically pleasing, these are glass. And I've had them crack a couple of times on vacations. And, um... Oh, girl. Okay, I need my glasses and I need to turn the light on because y'all going to be like, why does she keep balling her eyes up? <laughs> All right, so that's better. I can see uh, what's going on now. All right, so like I was saying, I don't use, it's going to be a glare and I apologize, but I don't really use these anymore because um, they're easily to break this little thin ones you can get from like off Amazon. But um, look at that, ooh, for glory. I, uh, what is this? This is Ellis Brooklyn rose oh i didn't know that oh i didn't know that oh my goodness okay okay let's leave this one out so while i'm going through here i'll probably leave out a few fragrances for like the tray um yeah this smells good oh that's pretty okay anyway uh my stash from sarah just i don't really travel with these they're glass but um what is this girl on one girl on for real okay anyway so i have some in like containers like this so at one time i used to go on fragrance net and they would have these on sale and i would catch them i'm telling y'all the mason francis kirk john um travel sprays i I'm, every once in a while late at night i used to catch them they would be like 10 and 12 dollars and I would just buy them. And so every once in a while when I see something like that and I have that 37% off coupon, I'm going to get it. And that's where all this mess comes from. A lot of it. Some of the scent bird. But um, there's a bunch of samples in here. It's just stuff, y'all. It's stuff I, I kind of need to go through and sniff and just see. Because a lot of this was stuff I purchased or I was like, oh, let me see if I like this before I purchased. Um... Yeah, who is this? This is Coco Chanel Mademoiselle. Let me get this to Tara. She likes that. Um, speaking of, I need to get her that other fragrance I just bought. Yeah, so anyway, I have a travel spray in here somewhere that has the um, LaBelle Intense, the LaBelle Parfum, and I need to find it because that's, that's all I have left. The bottle's in the trash. So anyway, I have my oils in here, down here. This is the cab. Well, a lot of oils in my bathroom right now, but this is the cabinet where I like to keep all that. Why does this look familiar? This is it right here. Um, yeah, then I have a few that people have sent me in the past or whatever, but yeah, I'm probably going to make an oil. I want to do another um, order for some oils that I saw that they had out recently from... Um, Fragrant body oils. He has raised his price too, but they're still good. The scent for you is still a really good cheap price. It's just the packaging and how they ship it can be a little wonky, but you're paying like two, three dollars. 
Yeah, so, and then I like to put mine in like the body oil. So I don't really care about the container comes in anyway. Um, yeah. And then I need to go back through all these, see which ones I want, get rid of the ones I don't want. And and like I said, it's a bunch of oils and crumple sprays. But I want to try some new oils they have. And I think I'm going to give the girls some of these. See, like this is beach walk. Um, I should be using these. So I kind of need to go through these. This is why I have to go through this stuff before I go buy stuff. This is Chuckle Musk. Like I have a lot of this stuff. So anyway, one day we'll go through all this together. Some minis in here, like this Gucci mini. But for right now, so that we won't be here for hours and hours. I think I'm going to organize the Latapa fragrances. These um, all her main fragrances. Because I did put the ones I just bought from Latapa on the other side. I would like just to hold Latapa shelf. So, but I think I'm just going to keep Latapa still within this house but within it's like the opulent line the this mason alhambra line like that keep it separate okay so i wanted to go through these and toss some of these to friends and the girls um yeah i'm not gonna know what's what this is chance some of these smell good though this would be so long i don't think i should do this it's gonna be so long y'all um yeah, so I don't like this. I still don't like this. The Fiery Leather and Rhubarb from Dossier. Here, I still, I still can't get this. I still can't get this. I don't know why. I just, that smell is so strong to me. So, y'all yeah, don't like that one. But, um, yeah, Jador. Some of these I'm going to keep. The girls already had when these went through this. This is inspired by um, Killing His Love. Don't be shy. Or Killing His Love. I like this one, though. So, I'm going to keep it. Um, I try to write the names at the bottom. And I really should have just put the labels on here. I saw someone else do that. Floral Jasmine. This is inspired by Tom Ford. Which I probably should just keep. Would it make sense to keep these separate? Or to put them with the, with the designers I already have? Like I should put this with the Tom Ford section. In my other cabinet. Because this is like inspired by so that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna do that and then that'll free up some space over here too so this one can go with the chanel section over there oh, this is this, this video is gonna be all over the place <laughs> y'all can see how my brain really works okay this is a no so these that are a no is going over here this is sunny vetiver and neroli yeah, this is still on the fence. I'm still on the fence of this one. Yeah, I'm going to put this to the side for my oldest son. I don't know if y'all remember this. This is one of their um, originals. And it smells good. It's different. But I think my oldest son would like that. So I'm going to put that over there for him. Yeah, see like Pottery Hearthon. Yeah, this is inspired by Tom Ford's uh, Metally Obsessed with that. We already know woody tobacco is that um girl i'm not i can't spray every last one i should just went live oh this smells good mm, i think this is inspired by that replica fragrance um by the fireplace i'm not sure woody tobacco my goodness it smells good ariana vetiver yeah, I, I'm, mm -mm, I'm keeping all these. Some of these I'm keeping. This is so hard for me. I still don't like this. It still smells musty. Uh, floral rose. I think it's inspired by Balder Freak something. Balder Freak rose something. I don't know, but um, it stinks. I don't like it. I tried it. I tried to wear it over and over. Floral rhubarb. Still love this one. Floral sound of wood. Why do I not remember what these are? Oh, this smells good. Oh, this one smells good. Hold on. All right. So, no wonder. This is inspired by um, MFK's, I think it says Amorous. Girl, this smells good. How do I go back? How much this is? It's $39. Okay. Inspired by MFK's Amorous Femme. Mmm. This one smells really, really good. All right. So, I'm definitely going to... 
Girl, please tell me. It says, does Dossier have... <gasps> I just came up with the best idea for all these fragrances. So, Dossier now has diffusers. Hey, did y'all notice? Hold on. Did y'all know that Dossier now has... Um, how do I do this so y'all can see? Did y'all know this? That they now have diffusers on the website? Get out of here. Oh. <laughs> Guess who's about to take the top off these fragrances and stick some sticks up in here today? Around the whole entire house, friend. So how much are the diffusers? Why y'all didn't tell me they had diffusers? I mean, nobody told me they had diffusers. Um, I know they have candles. So it says, new to the site, the diffusers are $31. They have Woody Sandalwood, which is inspired by the Labo's uh, 33 Santal. Amber Vanilla, which is inspired by, of course, Black Opium, because all oh, y'all love that. Um, it has Amber Cherry, which is inspired by Tom Frost Lost Cherry. And they are 30... How do I get exit out of this? Will it stop popping up? Um, I don't want to sign up. I don't want to log in. I don't want to do none of that. Um. Oh, it's a lot of them. It's one, two, three. Oh, it's a lot of them. Uh, mm, they added candles too, and the candles are forty six dollars. Wow. <laughs> So they also have uh, Killing is Love, Don't Be Shy, um, Room Diffuser, $31. I wonder how big it is. Let me see how big it is, y'all. So it says it is 3.4 ounces. So how many ounces is this? This is 1.7 ounce. So like two of these. That's how it comes in this little box like this. Oh. Look at that. Okay. All right. So now I need to go get my pliers and see if I can take this part off. And if I can, I'll show you how to take it off because <laughs> we about to have some room diffusers. Can you take these off? Please don't break the glass, child. I see it coming. <gasps> okay. So that's the first part. <laughs> Is it? Oh, it's magnetic. My bad. Hold on. And then, but it's so small, so I can only put like a stick or two in here. Or I could put this in a diffuser. Okay. Oh, yeah. I didn't even get like two, three sticks in here. Is it sharp? Okay, so it's a little sharp. But you know what? I'm about to go buy me a, a empty diffuser bottle with those sticks. And I'm pouring this in here today. And oh my God, so I'm going to add oil to it. I'm going to add oil to it to kind of like thicken it up with my sticks. Okay, so now I know what I'm going to do with these. I'm so random. Oh my God. Oh, girl. I don't have no use for this. All right, so I'll let y'all know how that goes if it lasts long enough with using that with the, like some oils or something because that is, um, I'm sure it has alcohol in it, so it'll probably like evaporate kind of quickly. But if I mix it with like the oils, I wonder if it's gonna, because I have like the Inspire Fragrance uh, by the Fireplace oil. I'm gonna mix that with that the diffuser. Like with the sticks. Okay. Anyway, back to what we were doing. Um, yeah. I just, oh my God. I be doing too much. I know. Spicy mimosa. What would this be? Oh, girl, you know what this is? That Joe Malone um, cardamom mimosa. This smells so good. I have a Joe Malone section over there. Oh, oh that smells so good. All right. Mm, if you like... Um, cardamom you're gonna like this Ugh. let me tell you i don't like it at the top no for some reason but these this one right here is so good so good 
Um, this is old. This is Coco Mademoiselle. I'm gonna give this to the girls with the Coco Mademoiselle spray. This is Spicy Orchid, which is Tom Ford Black Orchid. So I have three inspired Tom Fords. I can move Aquatic Vanilla. Yeah, this is the um, inspired fragrance for that Judy Has a Gun, the Vanilla fragrance. So I'm going to put that with that with that little section over there. Pottery Orange Flower. Well, whatever it is, I like it. Mmm. So this is the powdery orange flower. This smells more like uh, this smells like uh, more like my way than that rhubarb one. So what is this? So apparently this is inspired by Jo Malone's pear in Frisia. This um, Jo Malone, no, this floral rhubarb. It's pretty, very pretty and mouth watering. I'm gonna keep the cardamom one and I'm gonna give this one to the girls. Um, this one is caramel. Oh, yeah, I have two of these. <laughs> the caramel, lavender, and hazelnut. Definitely have two of those, just case, because y'all keep selling it out. So, this is mine's. Mine. Mine. Fruity Magnolia. I don't even know what this is. This one is inspired by, um, Versace, right? Bright Crystal. So, I'm going to give this one to the girls, too. I, I actually like this one. I sprayed this one quite a bit. Let me give it to them. That smells so good. You know, My Way by Georgia Armani smells so pretty to me in the spring. I really enjoy that fragrance. It makes no sense to have both bottles. I have the fragrance. Absolutely no sense to keep this bottle. No sense at all. I don't know why I like this one better than the original. I don't know why. I'm going to compare the two first. And then I'll see which one I keep. I'll give the girls one or the other. But I want to say I like Dossier's better than the other one. Uh, this video is not sponsored. I'm just cleaning it up. Just so you know. Um, floral Pink Pepper. Yeah, this is something. I forget which one this is. Hold on. Let me look up that one. Because I know good and well. Um... Um, is it floral pink pepper? It is floral. It might not be on here anymore. It might have been like an older one from like a long time ago. Because I don't see it. Floral pink pepper. Which reminds me of something. Um. <sighs> yeah, it reminds me of something. So it has orange. Mm -mm. Bergamot, lychee orange. It has rose, jasmine, some patchouli. This smells like something. I know. So I'll keep it until I figure out what it is. And this one is Woody Peony. This is pretty too. Let me see which one this is. Some of these are very spring like. Um, this will save me from having to buy the girls. Uh, some fragrances for a little bit. Girl, it's not on here. Woody Peony. Oh, they keep moving these fragrances. I don't even know what this is. Here's another one with lychee and freesia. Oak moss and woods. Um... Hey, this one's good. I'm going to keep this one. All right, so the rest of these I can move away onto the other side if I want to. I like this one too. I need to wipe out this cabinet. This is Banana Republic's Gardenia and Cardamom. Y'all, this smells so good to me. Um, Really nice, comforting, like bedtime scent. Um, I would like the rest of them. They're not extremely long-lasting fragrances at all. I had the one that was in the red bottle, the one y'all told me to get a long time ago. What is it? Um, <laughs> speak, I don't even know where it's at. I just thought about that. Hold on. Apparently, I'm missing a ton of fragrances. I have a tub. It's like a large shoebox, like a size 14 shoebox with a bunch of fragrances that are inexpensive. 
I have no idea where I put it. It's probably in my closet. But I have the other one, the cherry something that goes with this. I have no idea where it's at. I have no idea where that box is. So anyway, I'm just going to um, put these down here, these random ones. I have these two. Um, they have some more on sale right now on FragranceNet. And these are the Derek Lamb fragrances. Very nice summer, spring, um, more feminine and masculine. Um, the Aloft and the, um, what is this one? They're, they say 10 Crosby Street. Derek Lamb, 10 Crosby Street. But one's Aloft and one is, um, I forget the other one. Anyway, these are really good. Then they have some other ones. So the smaller ones like this, 1.7 ounces, you can get like 20 something bucks. The larger ones, you're going to pay like 40 bucks. But in stores, like a Sephora, they were like 100 and something. So anyway, I bought a couple of them. I've already used this one twice. I've already bought this twice. I think this is a lot. It's just a, a musky. Um, reminds me of. Yeah, I don't know. This is like an Ambroxan scent, right? So it's real clean, extremely clean. I really like this. So anyway, I've gone through two of these. And then, so this is what I have left for this one. Can't really see this one because of the white, but I run through these. Anyway, I'm keeping both of those. Um, I enjoy this scent. I told you all, I really like this scent. It's a really good scent. The Lala, the La, the La de Coco scent. Um, I like it. I don't like spraying it. I don't like spraying it. It's so freaking annoying. You see that? It's like it spits it out. And it's like white and milky. But if we add this to an oil, I wonder if I can use this as a diffuser too. Like this liquid, the scent of it. Add it to an oil and see what happens. I don't know. We'll try. I don't want to throw it away. I like the scent. Mm. It's just that, yeah. Anyway, I bought this from um, Etsy. I hated it. I tried to hold on to it. It's something. It's one of these brands off of Etsy. And, um, ugh, ugh. It smells like rotten bananas and coffee. It stinks. So, this is when I was trying to get all those coffee scents. So, we're just going to trash this. All right. Um, <clears throat> I used to have like three or four bottles of this the 1804, the Histoire de Parfums. Um, I enjoy this scent. This is just like a classic pineapple more um vintage smelling to me scent um uh, more mature and age smelling scent and now i'm down to one so i hold on to this one for sure um aveda and this is so good y'all this is so um earthy incense very natural smelling oh my god i can't even spray it now i've sprayed it so much during the fall and winter on my bed my bedroom my sheets i can't even spray it right now so we're keeping that this one was a good one this is iced coffee i forget the name of the company i got this off of Etsy with girl where did i put the glasses did i leave them when i went somewhere oh here they go This one is iced coffee perfume. I know if you type in iced coffee perfume, it's going to come up on Etsy. Um, Y'all, this is so good. So good. About three or four hours. This is so good. Nothing but coffee. Um, yeah, I'm going to put coffee down here. All my little coffee scents in a minute. But anyway, let me show you what happens when you leave a bottle in your car um, on the top, like at the back of the car. Um, in the summer here in Houston. You see this? Look how it's peeling. You don't even see the name anymore. The names are peeled off. All this is, is the, yeah. Oh my God, is it stuck? Girl, I think it's stuck. Anyway, it was in the back window. I used to spray my car with this. Is it going to come off? Ugh. Yeah, it's leaking and everything. Anyway, I'm not getting rid of this. <gasps> if this comes off, girl, then I'm going to use this. Yeah, we're going to use this. We're going to use this one, too. Okay. Yeah, I don't want to try. Oh, I can still see a few of the words. You can't, but yeah. 
All right, I had a bunch of these with Dolce and Gabbana at one point. All their every the whole line. I, I, yeah, I just I love it. I still got this stinky fragrance that nobody wanted from me, and this is Pink Ecstasy. It still stinks to me. Does it still stink? Smell. Yeah, I, I'm probably going to give it to the girls. As long as they don't wear it around me. But this is Pink Ecstasy from Montal. Um, at the top, when they first spray it, it has that roach spray smell. I use that pink and black roach spray in my garage to keep spiders out because we work out in there. And it's so similar on the top spray. It sprays down okay. But um, just getting past that top is a lot for me. So anyway, I'm going to get it to them. Keeping this. This is a classic. We'll never get rid of this. This is um, um, just the Couture. Perfume. A classic old school tuber. Here's another one of those coffee. This is Spice Spike mocha i don't like the packaging but i do like the fragrance another one off of etsy absolutely love it spiked sweet spicy coffee fragrance i didn't get rid of anything on that shelf just so y'all know i just went through and cleaned up i didn't get rid of anything and i probably should have got rid of at least two or three but anyway this is vanilla bourbon i really like this scent. i think they're gonna stop making this too and stop putting this in target but i really like this one and um mix bar it just doesn't last long but i really do like this so i'm gonna keep it for now but one of my favorite old schools and always will be it's this beautiful roberto cavalli i told you all it's so similar to um tuberose from um nishani so similar this is so freaking cheap at tj maxx and marshall's but anyway keeping her um I actually have a container of some vintage fragrances in my closet. We'll go through that one day. Anyway, Dolce and Gabbana, all intense, light blue. For me not to like this, <laughs> but I like to wear it to the gym. It's a nice, clean scent for the gym. And even though I don't smell it, others smell it on me. And I always get a, you smell really good and clean, or you smell good, you know, kind of thing when, I, when I'm at the gym. So, yeah. I just keep it for my gym scent. It doesn't even belong over here. It belongs on the other side of the cabinet. So I'll take that over there. We all know I love Nebras. Beautiful, creamy fragrance. Oh my God. This is Fendi. And it just smells like... Um... Yeah, this brings back childhood memories. I don't know why, but it, it, it does. And I was going to buy a big bottle one day. And I just said, you know what, well, give me the little mini because I would never wear it. But it reminds me of that candy that you used to wear around your neck. That's kind of chalky, kind of sweet. Yeah, that's what it reminds me of. So, anyway, I'll keep it. All right, let's bring y'all down so we can clean up. All right, I've ran my mouth about. 40 minutes so let's just finish cleaning up moving these fragrances like we need them to be and um yeah i hope y'all enjoyed this little chit chat chill with me um i love this i'm obsessed with this this is a very clean beautiful rose fragrance like tea like rose from um L loxiton so did the dossier stuff that's out the way i want to move all the coffee stuff down so let me just do that real quick and that is from like the Kofi line. They, um, he says he won't be doing this anymore. He's working on something else right now. Um, he had a few health issues. So JC, so he's starting up with some other stuff. But anyway, Kofi Baby, King George, one of my favorites. Absolute obsessed making up. So I'm going to put all that down here. Here is the other ones from the Kofi line. Obsessed with these um your soft no your sweetness oh my god this is so good <laughs> just call me this one's the one with the plum i don't know i can't tell or is it this one no not this one i think love is like an itching in my heart it's the one with the plum oh my goodness these are so good but anyway i'm just gonna move them all down here to keep them 
separate from everything that I'm working on. I'm working on some stuff that I would like to collect and I want this shelf empty so I can start um, collecting those fragrances. So this is also from um, JC and Ganache. And uh, one time he had that line with the singers like Billie Holiday, like songs from like our past era, Me, Myself and I, not Beyonce. Uh, but girl, me, myself, and I, <laughs> that's my jam. This is just something he sent me, and I love this. It just reminds me of a cereal. I'm keeping it. Um, this is I Learned I learned to Respect the Power of Love. This one is A Cigarette in the Rain. I Refuse to Be Lonely. So these are like, you know, an old two. The old school love songs, baby. Y'all don't know about that. All right. Obsessed with this. Obsessed. I kept telling everybody to go get it. Mmm. Arnando. This is so good. Anyway, that that's the ones I have from him. And then he sent me some more that one I was obsessed with. Yeah. This is mine. This is mine. All right. I also have, oh, oh this is ganache too? Okay, hold on. I didn't realize I had this many ganache fragrances, so. Um, so ganache is still around. It is more of, I don't know what's on there though, to be honest. I haven't even been on the site in for a while now because, um, I don't know, I just been looking at other stuff, but, um, yeah, he's still on there, but not with the Kofi line. I might end up giving this away. Girl, I'm not going to wear this. Hold on. Let me just move to the side. All right. So, I do have some of these. Um, I don't have the sprayers, but this is Gold Couture. Um, is it Globus? They, I don't know what to say. Whatever they say. And then No Strings Attached. I have this one. I use a lot of that. Oh, this is Erin Beauty. Okay. Let me take her out. Then I have these, which is, um, um, is it comfy? No, cozy. Cozy, which is more of a fall-like scent. Um, this one is Hug, another fall warm scent. Obsessed with um, peanut, which I'll tell you smell like pina colada. Look what's left. Let's just use this up on the tray. I might as well. I can't get it again. That's why I never use it up. But at the end of the day, I can use it or it can go bad. It's not going to go bad, though. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, let me use this up. All right. All right, let's move these Atapa fragrances down. These Maison Alhambra fragrances that we were raving about. Let's just go ahead and move them. So, I have the Bright Peach. We all know that. The uh, Rose Petals and Obsessed with the Neroli. Girl, it's not Neroli Portofino, ma'am. This is Porto Neroli. So, I guess I can keep these separate. I shouldn't put these with the other ones, right? Because I have this one. I have the Travel Spray of this one, of the original. I don't know. I think I just leave it like this. We'll just leave it like this. And then we have... This one, which is Lovely Cherie. Okay. So, let's just do that. I don't like the way this one looks. I don't know why I don't like this bottle. Bothers me. This bottle is so pretty to me. Mm. Okay. Anyway. That's all I have is four of those, right? I don't think I bought a lot of those. So, the Mason um, Alhambra line always have really good, nice dupes. These are the All Hermaine Ooze. Um, is this all I have? No, it's not. Girl, what is this stuff? This is why I need to um, go find that bin because I bet it's in the bin. Oh, here's another one. <laughs> this is one that I really like the Woody Ooze. I'm obsessed with this one. You know, you can tell, ma'am. Okay. Yes, I didn't even realize I had five of those. It's crazy. I'm missing one of these. And I don't know where I put it right now. My mind is blank. 
All right, so I have the Amber Oud Rouge. Obsessed with this. Y'all know I love this. This is <laughs> Forever Bay. This is the new one that I added to the collection. This is the one that smells like the Coco Mademoiselle to me. Yeah, girl, this is this is it. This is um Amber Oud, and but this is the white edition. So if you want one that smells like Mademoiselle, go for it. And then this one is the tobacco edition. I know which one I'm missing. I'm missing the one that smells like um Yerba Pura, I think. And actually, I know who has it. So, yeah. All right. Just thought about that. But I still got to go find my other container of fragrances. All right. So, that's that. So, let's do the... Um, so, these are by the um, All Harmony. All Harmony. So, let's just stick with All Harmony. So, I also have these from All Harmony. I just realized I don't know where I put this stuff. So this one is lavender rose, and like I said in the past, it just reminds me of like two, three different rose fragrances. But let me know if you know what it's duping. I actually enjoy this one. Um, this is the one that's inspired by um, mm, Creed Adventures for her. This is a good one, a really good one, really good dupe. Okay. <laughs> Obsessed with this one. I mean, I don't know how many bottles I've been through this. I told you all. I don't even buy this anymore because I bought the big bottle. Um, I think it's four ounces or something. And it's in Christopher's room. So, when I run out of this, I have one in his room. And this is the, um, I would say, 89-90% creative Ventures for him. And I, I'm obsessed with it. I think women can wear that with no problem. Um, Armand, let's just do Armand real quick. I don't know why. I have got to go find. Who is this by? All Hermane? It is. So this is another All Hermane. This is that one that is very sweet and sticky and a bunch of like fruitcake like scent. Like it's so dense. Um, Yeah, I'm going to try to wear that in the winter one more time. And if I don't, I'm getting rid of it. Um, Why do I feel like I don't know where that box is. I really don't. Mm. Okay, anyway. Um, so this is um uh, Club de Nuit, and this is like the intense one, very strong, powerful fragrance. This one is the one that smells like Mademoiselle. Yeah, these I, I don't need two of these. I do not need two of these. And um I'm gonna make some travel sprays for the girls for this, but um these are better than no, they're about the same. But I, these are stronger and denser than the one from Dossier. So I have about maybe seven or eight of these. Carez or whatever, this line. Um, yeah, I, I really like these for out of the shower sometimes. So I have some in my bathroom in a basket. This is Vanilla Freesia and Lychee. Lychee. And this one smells so good. It's the order toilet. But... Yeah, I don't I don't know how this made its way into here in my cabinet. I probably sprayed it one night, but I like this one a lot. I used to get these all the time at Burlington. I'm gonna put this back in my bathroom. All right, I've been talking a lot. All right, um, so I feel like I'm missing something from our mouth. I don't know where they are, but there's at least five of them. Our mouth. It's at least five of these or four of these. Um, yeah, I don't know where it's at. Anyway, I don't know where it's at. Um, this is Choco Musk, and I'll tell you, I have like several oils of these. We buy these all the time. Everybody in the house has this spray, beautiful chocolate, fresh Cocoa Puff um, box fragrance. I don't know. I, I'm, I love it. So, um, yeah, that's that. This is from... Um, um, Ajmal, and this is Entice. Actually, hold please. Let me see if they have the the new one that just came out on Jama Shop. Let me see if I can order it real quick. Okay, so this one is actually $30 on um, FragranceNet right now. This is without the coupon. Hmm. 
All right, so let me go back and see how much it is for the new one. Um, and ties. The new one is $29. And I have a coupon. Let me see what they say it smells like. There's no... It doesn't say... Everybody say the most beautiful, stunning, fruity floral. Okay, let's add to basket. We're going to add to basket. We're going to talk about it when it gets here. All right, so this is from Entice Ajma Beautiful Scent. It's definitely summer, spring appropriate, like fruity floral scent. I love that. That's good. That's really good. I don't know where these bottles are, but I'm, I'm kind of, I have the male version of some of their uh, fragrances or moth. And I, maybe my son has some. Okay. Um, Ooh for Glory. I'm obsessed with this fragrance. I don't know. <laughs> Jesus. <clears throat> Hold on. Let's do. Uh, who is this? Is this Latafa? This is Latafa. I need to go on Amazon and see if um, Amazon has any of like the fragrances that I want to add. Because if they do, then I'm going to order them from Amazon. Amethyst. This is the one I want. $27 adding this to basket. Okay. All right. So these are from uh, Ragba. Like Ragba Wood. Um, yeah, these are really good. I, I Yeah, I, I've talked about them so much. I'm not going to do this. Uh, Ragba Wood Intense. Man, woman, oh, a sweet wood oody fragrance. Oh my goodness, so good. This one right here, they say it's supposed to smell like by the fireplace. I don't know, it's similar, y'all, but I like this one better. I really do like this one better. Um, and this is Amira Oud and uh, from the top of definitely like this one better than by the fireplace, yeah. I picked this one up. Oh, speaking of, I picked this one up off of uh, the street on Harwin. The street. I picked this one up from a fragrance place on Harwin. It is a like a Middle Eastern shop. You can buy fragrances. I like to go in there and smell them before I purchase like fragrances offline. So we might do that. Um, this is Nakbak Oud, and it's just a lighter version of Roses Vanille. Uh, yeah, just a lighter version. Oh, God, this is so freaking good. Yeah, it just doesn't last as long as that. Oh. Um, Random fragrances. This is from Armoth, and this is Armoth Gold. This is good, too. This is a beautiful scent. Oh, this is good. This is a cheapy. Armoth Gold. This is the strongest fragrance I have in my collection at this time. I forget. Uh, I think it's Shara, Shayla, something. I don't know. That's the name of it right there. But, um, y'all, I can't believe I sprayed this much. Like, are you crazy? Oh, my God. I think it has patchouli in it. I don't know. It's just like straight, strong, sharp patchouli. Yeah, I don't know. But this is the strongest fragrance I've ever smelled. <laughs> I can't get rid of it. All right, so this one is um, Oud Blanc from Tet Lapis. And this is a beautiful Oud fragrance. Yeah, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. The bottle is beautiful. It's like a column. It's like, um, like feels like a column. Nice heavy metal top. Beautiful fragrance. I'm never getting rid of this either. I don't even hardly wear it, but I'm never getting rid of it. Um, This is my girl's favorite fragrance right here. It is... Inspired by Barbara Rouge 540, y'all. And this is one of the closest ones I've ever smelled. And it was 20... No, I think it was like 15 bucks at one point. Yeah, they... I don't know how many bottles they've ran through. But um, if it's on here, I'm just going to order another one. Barack. Yeah, I'm going to order another one for them. I'm going to keep this one for myself. But I don't wear this one. So maybe I should just give them this. Look, it's all... Look at it. Mmm. I'm telling you, these Middle Eastern fragrances, they have so many oils in them. Oh, my God, that smells good. I really like the way they smell when they wear this. 
I really enjoy, um, um, I don't know. I like this one because it's like more of an x ray version. I love this because it's so fresh and so clean. So, um, yeah, I might just get this one to go. Do I want to? Not really. Mm, it's from the Mesa Alhambra line anyway. So, we'll see. I might. Like, oh, this one is good. I, I love this still. I didn't get a chance to really wear this this winter. And this is that um, Camera. This is a beautiful scent too. Beautiful. I don't know. I think I broke my top. I told y'all my top don't even close no more. I think I broke it. Oh, I didn't. It's in here. Oh, sh uh, it don't matter. I, I don't care. Anyway, so, yeah, this is a beautiful scent. <laughs> Not getting rid of that. And this is probably the most manly fragrance I have. Uh, Quaid, Wade, however you pronounce it. Oh, man, this is the sexiest girl. Make you want to get you a little Middle Eastern man. Yeah, anyway. Um, yeah, I did good. Look, see? And I got a shelf. I can start buying what I want for the shelf. Girl, what does this go to? This is, uh, La Perla. This is a pretty, um, like Lotus Flower fragrance. I keep it down here, over here, because I like to spray it sometime on my sheets. So, I'm going to put this back here. All right. <sighs> We did good, y'all. All right, so um, <sighs> all right, so I was trying to figure out if I can put these in the back <laughs> of what it is, like this one. Um, this one is aquatic vanilla. So my um. Judy has guns are down here, so I'm just going to put this one in the back of that. There's no room behind these Tom Fours, but I'm going to make a little space on the side. Um, only because I really want these with it so I can remember to use them, even if I spray them with the fragrance I already have. You know what I'm saying? Um, thought I had three of those. Because what's this one? Yeah, this is the Black Market one. But I'm telling y'all, that Pottery Hawthorne and that Metal Leak, like, it's crazy. Like, it's crazy how much they smell alike. This is so crazy to me. So, since they're all pretty much the same, I'm just going to put them together like this. Yeah. I forget what this is already. Right. This is that orange flower. Oh, this is the one by, um, inspired by Giorgio Armani. Yeah, that one smells like my way. And then this one, I keep forgetting what the world this is, but girl, this smells good. Floral sandalwood. I don't even know what this smells like. I'm going to put this on the other side. I bet this goes with something I already have. I can't keep spraying myself. Mmm. Mmm. What the heck is this? Oh, this smells good. Let me put it on the other side. <sighs> anyway, this cabinet is done. Whatever's in that box I have of fragrances, they're randoms anyway. They're not going in here. So I'm just going to leave this as is. Like I said, I don't have as many as y'all thought I had. But yeah. Um, I still have space in here for the Girl Arm fragrances. I have some more of the, um, the bee bottles. I just need to put them in there. All right, done with this cabinet. Like I said, I didn't have as many Middle Eastern as y'all thought. I am going to run some errands today and get me um, some diffuser sticks. What else can go in here? I think that's it. All right. Um, I need to put this one in here too, but we haven't even talked about this one. And this actually smells like something to me. Actually, this is my scent today. It's rem reminiscent of something uh, I already have. So we're going to talk about this one sometime this week. 
Who is this again? This is La Fleur Bouquet off nine. So I'm just gonna put this over here and then remind myself to talk about it this week. All right, so the ones I'm giving away are trashing, not really trashing, like trash, but like donating is uh, fiery leather and rhubarb. It's a no, it, it's an extreme no. I don't think I know anybody who's gonna like that. This floral rose smells like straight up cumin. It smells like um like a um, yeah. Uh uh. I don't like it. Musty, musty, stinky musty cumin. Um, sunny vetiver and the road is still on the fence about it. So, um, yeah, I'll spray this a couple times and see if my son wants it. I'm gonna give this to the girls. The pink. Ecstasy. I'm just gonna tell them, please don't spray this if you're in a car with me. I cannot do that top spray. This is the back in the day, four or five years ago. It's never gone bad. Just so y'all know, um, Oriental Woody One. And this is inspired by Coco Mademoiselle. Never went bad. Like this thing still smells like really good. I'm gonna give them decanter that other one, fruity magnolia for the girls, um, floral rhubarb. Is that all I'm giving them? Oh, that feels really stingy right now. All right, so I got a few more. I'm going to give them the um, mix bar. The um, I want this scent in a stronger formulation from somewhere, like the bourbon vanilla like scent. I really like it. It's just yeah, they can have that. Um, and then um, the Jimmy Choo. I want you. I told you I really like it. It's pretty. Just as the last time on me, and two, three hours later, I'm like, did I spray something? But I know that uh, Penny likes this scent, so she comes and sprays it. She can have it. Um, over this, I told you all, I don't want no more of these body sprays. I oversprayed this one, that green one, um, on vacation several times. And I cannot take this anymore. This is the pistachio one. Come next summer, maybe. But right now, girl, uh, 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 but they have this bottle. Maybe not. They probably use theirs up. But whatever's up in here, they can have um, this Lush Sherry. Cherry. Not Sherry. Um, and this is from the... Who is this company, girl? Y'all know who this company is. Who is this by? World of Fragrance or something, right? I think it's World of Fragrance. Anyway, it smells like Lush Sherry. I like the other one. From the top of better. Oh, my God. This smells so good. But, um... I want for La Tapa to me last longer. And so I'm going to give them this one. Uh, they're going to have to share this one. Somebody's going to ask for their own. So I'm going to have to buy another one. I know they're not going to share it. They're going to want their own. So that's everything for right now that's in my cabinets. I need to go through my closet. I need to find that container of fragrances. I need to go through that room where I like to chill at all the time. My reading room. And get the fragrances out of that cabinet. And move them around. And see if I'm keeping any of those. But for the most part, I'm okay with the fragrances I have. I will be going on Harmon soon. I'll just take y'all with me. And um, basically, they have several Middle Eastern stores. There's only one I really like going to. Um, one I like going to just to sniff. One I will purchase from. However, a lot of those fragrances um, are marked up like 8 or $10 possibly. Some just five. If it's like five dollars difference, because while I'm in there, I always look it up and see if I can get it cheaper online. And if I can, I'll just buy it online. But if it's really comfortable in price, I'll get it from there. But I want to smell some stuff and see what they have new. And there are some fragrances like Orientica, Orientica, I think, um, that 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 they do have in stores there. I saw them. I need to just go sniff them. Maybe we'll get dressed to go do that, and you'll see that on another video. But um, yeah. Um, I'm going to sniff them before I buy them online. And that's another way I'm able to try out some of these Middle Eastern fragrances without buying them, like blind buying. So we'll just go and do that one day. And like I said, we'll definitely hit up a cosmetic company store, hopefully tomorrow. And, um, yeah, so if you like these type of videos where I'm just chilling out, going through, cleaning up, smelling stuff, <laughs> let me know. I do need to switch out a bookshelf that's in my bathroom because I don't have like a linen closet. So I use like a shelving unit. And um, if you want to hang out when I do that with the body care, let me know. We can do that together. And then I need to go through the facial products. So, girl, listen, I'm so late. <laughs> I'm so late on spring cleaning, but I, that's what I'm doing, basically, spring cleaning. I'm switching my room over to spring, so all this fall stuff is coming out. 
But um, yeah, it's the same thing. It's just I just switched the color of bedding. This piece right here. That's all. It's a duvet. Um, real simple. So stay tuned for that. But thanks for hanging out with me today on this long video. Um, and I will see y'all on the next one. I'll probably start trying to go live on this channel. It's just that um, I don't know what to talk about live on this channel. <laughs> I don't know what to talk about. You know what? Who knows? I can go live when I get new fragrances, right? I don't know. We'll see. So I'll see you on the next video. This is about an hour or something. It's time for you to go eat lunch. It is 2 o'clock. And I still haven't gotten to my garden yet. Um, I might run to Harlem real quick. And then, uh, so let me let this video go up first. And, um, girl, I got so much to do. I have so much to do today. All right. I see my boyfriend. Anyway, so I'm out. I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.